So in this lesson, we're talking about redirects. Redirects are one of the most important things in SEO. The reason is that whenever the URL structure of a site changes in a way that a URL would no longer be accessible, you would need a redirect. Otherwise, you would lose your organic rankings and ultimately your organic traffic. Redirect also makes sense when you know, a visitor or a crawler would receive a 400 error or a 404 um, instead, or the domain could no longer be reached altogether. This also happens when, for example, old products or pieces of content have been deleted, or you know, categories are renamed and then the name is used in the URL, or you know, subcategories get moved, say, into a different or you know, other parent category. Technical changes can be a reason, and they are made, you know, for example, from HTTP to HTTPS, the migration or file extensions changes, etc. You know, essentially, whenever a URL changes and the old one is not working anymore, there is a need for redirects. The question is, where should you redirect to, right? So as a basic rule, it should be a URL with the greatest possible thematic proximity. So this ensures you know, higher chances of equal rankings and link equity being passed on. For hierarchical category trees, for example, redirects can lead from a subcategory to a parent category. For consumer product solutions are often much more complex as specific items might you know, temporarily not be available and a redirect target is not immediately clear. Newer products, you know, in a series of products, or the same products, but for example, with different colors, or different sizes, or different materials, or even products you know, that are similar, that can be found using the internal search, can be feasible redirect targets. If it isn't quite clear what the best redirect target should be, you know, think again about thematic proximity, and you will kind of find the best answer. We have different types of status codes available. You know, on the server side, we have, for example, the 301 redirect, which is moved permanently. Then we have a 302 that is found and which is the web service standard. Then we have a 303, which means see other, and we have a 307, which means temporary redirect, but that works with HTTP 1.1. And lastly, it's 308, that is a permanent redirect, but according to another RFC. So in the real world, the most common redirects that you would see are usually a 301 or the 302. Other type of redirects, in this case, the client side are redirects triggered you know, in HTML by using simple inline JavaScript, for example, or you know, even the good old meta refresh tags. For a user, it is all the same. A person always gets transferred from you know, a URL A to a URL B. From an SEO perspective, though, you know, there's a massive and big difference. It's strongly advised to use HTTP 301 redirects because only this way our rankings of an old URL fully transferred to the new and relevant URL. If you do not use a 301, it can lead to the loss of important positions without any replacement, which again would cause a significant loss in organic search visibility and also traffic. You know, without a 301, incoming external links and the value are not transferred to the new URL. A new URL would have then first to assert itself against competition, putting it at an extreme disadvantage. Important metrics such as the link popularity per URL and the historical information of this URL, they will be lost. And you absolutely don't want that. So whatever you do, if you care about your rankings, a 301 redirect is the best solution to maintain you know, your status quo while it's changing a URL. It takes a while before all the signals are fully transferred from one URL to another. Even if most of them are passed kind of right and straight away after the redirect, this is especially important to know if you change a lot of things at once. Say, for example, you're in within a migration scenario. Then it can actually take a couple of weeks or even months before Google has everything kind of sorted out again um, and you will fully benefit from this 301 redirect that you have implemented. So really be patient, it might take some time until you rank as strongly as before. Also watch out for what we call redirect chains. They often happen for historical reasons. So, you know, one URL redirects to another and this one continues to redirect to the next. This is not the best idea from a performance standpoint or from a crawl budget perspective. Multiple requests are obviously always slower and in some cases Google will stop following those chains altogether. Ultimately, don't just rely on redirects being implemented correctly, but have a routine in place to take care of your code hygiene. So update old to new URLs directly within your HTML markup. There's been you know, loads of discussions around redirects in the search community, 
including various statements also from Google suggesting that eventually, you know, what they call PageRank and Link Equity will be passed, you know, whether it's a 301 or 302. But especially if the 302 remains there for a very long time, that's supposed to happen. However, from a very practical standpoint, it is still strongly recommended to do 301 redirects whenever you actually can. You might want to get insights into the most typical redirect issues that can actually harm your website's rankings by using the following checks in SEMrush's site audit. Learn whether you have redirects you know, from HTTPS to HTTP pages in place. Find out if there are any redirect chains or redirect loops. And determine which pages have temporary or permanent redirects in place.